All right, let's give these things a try. Here at the dirt pile, the place where they always break. This is day one, test one. I'm gonna smash it into that. I'm gonna try to jump right over this whole thing over here and uh, we'll see how it goes. So in spicy tofu, techno slash kit and the Traxxas Extreme HD in cozy tofu. Let's go do the big jump. Got a little jump on the other side of this road. Try to get over this whole thing and land over there. Let's see what we can do. Oh, well, made it to the top. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh shit. And what happened there? <laughs> That's not what we wanna see. Oh wow, that thing broke, that's crazy. That has never happened. That is a pain in the ass. Didn't seem like I hit it very hard, weird. Well, we'll replace it and test it and see if it breaks again. Back to the other one. Ooh, well, made it over the hump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, so far, doing great. Pretty sweet. to do to top that one and that's batteries so perfect timing all right well they both worked good beat the hell out of it sort of tried on purpose so there's day one all right here we go day two testing I fixed some stuff up broke one of the rear arms well I'm waiting for the replacements I put in the old stock ones because I replaced those before doing anything with this truck so we'll give it a proper test on the techno drive shafts Gonna go straight to the jump. There's the train. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight to the jump. I'm gonna try to go over this thing. It might work. And if they immediately get broken again, then maybe it's a problem with those very rigid drive shafts. So, let's go. I don't think it's gonna go over. I don't think I can go fast enough, but let's try one more time. Old rusty thing. Whoa. Whoa. There's the stock arm. Not surprised that broke. That was kind of dumb, but sure was cool. We'll see. Once I try another set of RPM arms, if they break those arms, then maybe there's an issue with that really rigid thing and not having the telescoping piece. But I think these are good. Okay, time to get out cozy tofu for some more jumping and see if we can get over this lump. Here's the lump. Oh, that was the 
closest yet. Oh. <laughs> that didn't go over, but. Oh, so close. Day two on the Traxxas, no problem. I am pretty happy with this so far. Let's try these other jumps real quick. Oh no. Oh, too big. Oh no. Oh, that's easy. Just a little link. Yeah, that was a nasty landing. But the drive shafts are in perfect shape. Oh, it worked all really worked all really good. This might be the solution. The one with the technos broke another A-arm in the rear. Not surprisingly, this is just the stock one that I put in. And good old Island Toys had these in stock. So we can throw these in and go do another test. I think after three really good sessions, that should be a proper test. Also this here, this is a TRX4 Injora or a bunch of other brands, eBay, wherever. Plastic stock horn strips out pretty quick. So go ahead and get one of those. All right, let's go see how this works. All right, day three. I discovered this was broken on the other truck, so can't run it today till the parts get here, but this one's all back so we can give a proper test for those technos. We're gonna bash it on this pile and it's gonna be awesome. It's about to start storming, I think. Let's see how much time we got here. Like I might have bent one a little bit, but I'm happy with this. It's working good. Well, the rain is here, so back to the studio. Day four. I need to try the Traxxas on the more powerful truck, the Max 10 system. If it can survive this, it's a good to go. The Techno ones obviously would be okay on the lower power truck, but needed to try the Traxxas on the higher power truck. Make sure it works for everything. So let's see if we can break them. I've been trying to do this gap for a while now. Can't quite get over it. This shows the whole thing pretty well. Take off over behind that and land over here. Hopefully it'll work today. I'm sorry about the wind. Higher and higher. Higher. <laughs> Bottom shock mount broke. I don't have a replacement for that. The regular end links are too big, but I think the sway bar end link might work. We got no bushing, but I'm going to put it on and try to get one more. That'll do, peg. It's actually not so bad. It should work. Broken thing didn't seem to make any difference. Now wood, great alive with the sound of birds and a warm breeze gently rustling the leaves. 
<laughs> All right, here, take another lap. Yeah. Close. Yeah, that's almost full throttle. Oh, oh. Whoa. -ho. That was a good one. All right, I should probably shut this down before I break something again. Oh, what's your dog's name? Jake. Jake. Nice to meet you, buddy. All right, well, I think that's good. Two batteries on this guy, two batteries on the other one. I got three batteries actually on these Traxxas drive shafts. They're still not broken. Everything is fine. No issues with the diff this time. Just broke that one shock end. And if you ever need to use a quick fix, use your end link from the sway bar. It'll screw onto the end of your shock and you don't need a bushing and it works well enough. I'm probably not even going to change it until I have to. Final verdict, Traxxas all the way, super cheap. I hate to say it, but in this case, it's probably not worth going for the really nice option. Unless maybe you're doing 4S or something else ridiculous, uh, then you might need the metal. Yeah, good, good test. Loving the bash body. This video is way too long, so sorry. Pro ah! What the hell just happened? Links to all the parts in the description. The other video that tells you how to do it is in the other video. If you like my sexy shirt, there's a link in the description of a slightly bemused looking robot. Yeah, and uh, next time we'll have a little review, controller review, cheap controller review. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. That's what's up.